Hello riders, after my last trip to Mongolia, I received many questions about my luggage. What I took with me, how I packed, how heavy it was and so on. Many of you guys think that on a long trip you need a lot of stuff. Is it really like that? In this video I'm going to talk about the most important things you should have in your motorcycle luggage. Stay with me. As I promised guys, I'm gonna show you the most important things you should have in your motorcycle luggage. I'll repeat it once again, the most important things, which is mean that if I don't have it, I have to stop. I have to find it, take it from the friend or buy it. Things that I will really need it and use it all the time. You can take whatever you like, you can double or triple all of your clothes, you can take computer, tablet or, or smartphone at the same time. To carry 50 different charges or cables because you might need it. You can pack sweet and tie for the evenings in the restaurant. You can take even your mother-in-law if you like. Whatever you take, it will be loaded on your motorcycle. So my opinion, it doesn't really matter. But keep in mind that the most important things and the things you might need are two different things. Soft luggage or hard cases, it's your personal choice. What I think about it, you can watch in this video. As you already know, I travel with soft luggage. Actually, in these two bags here, I carry everything I need. It's only 19 kilograms, but it was more than enough for 35 days trip. Actually, I can easily spare maybe two or three kilograms more. Inside, I keep all the luggage in small waterproof bags like this. So there is two reasons to do it. The first one is obvious, to keep everything dry, because nothing is 100% waterproof. And the second is because sometimes when we sleep in hotels or guest house, for example, we park the motorcycles in the hotel's uh, backyard or in the garage, so they are safe. And I did not take all of my stuff, the whole saddle back. I just take what I need. I can take my clothes, my toothbrush or cables, whatever I need, anything else, stay on the bike. For the purpose of that video, I loaded my bags again and now I will take everything out just to show you what I have with me. Let's start it. Number one is your rain gear. The reason I start with this is because I really believe that this is one of the most important things you should have with you. Some of you guys, including my riding friend Dima, will disagree with me. And the biggest argument will be that if you have a good quality waterproof riding gear, you don't really need the rain gear. Guys, I have Revit, Dima has Ruka. So these are some of the top brands at the moment. In our last trip to Mongolia, Dima did not take his uh, rain gear, which is mean that in the case he get wet, we have to stop. Even if I have mine, we have to stop because of him. So I decided that I can test my gear even better without it. Both Dima's Ruka and my Revit are waterproof, but nothing lasts forever. In about 4 or 5 hours it starts to leak around your neck, under the helmet, around your gloves here or through the gloves. Even if your jacket and pants keep you dry, you start to feel the dampness and the cold after that. It is the same story with your boots and your gloves. So sooner or later, your gear, your jacket and your pants will soak with water. Yes, inside you will be dry, but the gear is not. Which is mean that you have to ride it, to dry it, to give it enough time the wind to dry it, or you'll need the heating. But what about if it's raining the whole week or the whole month? If your hotel room is very small, without any heating, or even worse, you have to camp somewhere. If you cannot dry your gear, the water will penetrate the membrane, Gore-Tex or Sympatex or whatever membrane you have, and will go inside, which is mean that on the next day you have to ride completely wet. How long you can ride wet? Day, two, a week? I don't think so. Don't make this mistake, please. Always take your rain gear with you. Even if the forecast predict only nice weather, it is forecast, it is not diagnosa, it is not guaranteed. Take it with you. Number two, clothes. This is everything I carry with me. I have um, four t-shirts, three with uh, short sleeves and one with uh, long sleeves. I use the same to ride the bike and to walk around the cities. One switcher, in the case is colder, I can use it under my jacket as well. Zip pants with removable leggings, very light. Both the, the pants and t-shirts and my switcher are from synthetic materials. So in the case I need to wash it, they will be dry for just a couple of hours. Walking shoes and flip-flops. I have four pairs of uh, socks. 
two for riding a bit longer and two short just for walk around underwear three pieces i don't have thermo underwear i don't need it on the long trips i always have my riding gear warm linings number three tools and spare parts i don't have to explain you how important they are usually i keep everything i will need in this plastic box the reason i choose this uh, round box instead of a uh, square is because of the clutch plates they pass perfectly here video about it what i have on the long trips you can see somewhere here number four camping gear to carry camping gear or not it really depends from your personal preferences and from the type of the trip you're gonna make for example in our trip to mongolia now we use the tents only once anyway everything i have i carry in this uh, in this bag actually this is the back of my tent everything my tent uh, my sleeping bag my mattress even a foldable chair my uh, pillow and a few more things are inside of that bag it weighs about four kilograms it's a bit heavy but in the case i cannot find hotel or i want to save money from hotel or i find a, a nice and, and beautiful spot and i want to to camp i can do it on the side of that uh, i also have my cooking stuff my stove and anything else but guys it's a really uh, a good question do i have to take it with me so for example if you plan to tent somewhere in the camping there will be stoves and there will be cooking stuff and everything you need the only moment when you're gonna really need it is if you come somewhere in the wild but how i have to say to spend one month with all of this it's about almost two kilograms to, to, to have these two kilograms all the time with me and never use it it's not really work for me next time i'm not gonna take it number five is your medical kit this is something very important and you have to make the selection carefully do not take the first one from the shop customize it exactly for you all of your needs look at how big is mine i cannot even close it but inside i have everything everything what i might need on the trip include the pills for diarrhea or something like that number six gps and maps as you know the navigation is very important part of your trip my advice to have it both gps and paper maps paper map i always keep on my saddlebag usually the gps stay in front of me on the dashboard but if i don't need it i keep both in my uh, tank bag number seven charges and cables actually i don't have that much i have uh, two cables uh, two sockets and and few more items uh, i carry everything in this small bag and as you know most of the modern devices uh, like uh, computers tablet uh, smartphones or even my camera are rechargeable with a simple usb plug i keep this small bag usually in my tank bag just like this easy to assess in the in the case i need it in the tank bag i, I also have a spare gloves my camera my hat or, or, or simple things like that uh, it's, uh, sunglasses uh, reflective vests and, and many more number eight is your spare key please do not forget to take the spare key of your motorcycle and all the locking mechanisms you have with you if you travel alone keep it in your riding gear not on the motorcycle if possible make a, a secret pocket or, or leave it in the pocket which one you don't use just forget about it leave it there if you have a riding friend just exchange your keys number nine is disc lock and other locks i don't have to remember you how important it is to protect your motorcycle video how to protect your bike you can see somewhere here number 10 spare visor or goggles i always carry goggles with me because i have a dual sport helmet so even if i drop it off because of this peak it's almost impossible to uh, break the visor but if you have a standard full face helmet and you drop it off the chances to break the visor are very high so guys this is pretty much everything i carry with me i did not mention some uh, small things like a toothbrush or some douche gel or some additional gadget but because they weighed nothing and they did not require any additional space as you know i travel very light but it doesn't mean that you have to be the same thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for a new video every week right safe ciao